A 14-year-old boy presented to emergency room with a history of fall from second floor. After falling from height, he felt nauseating for two times but did not lose his consciousness. On examination, his vitals are stable. No other injuries were found over his body. He is talking normally. What should be the next line of management? Suppose, same patient if you are getting in your emergency department. History of fall from a fifth floor. But it was a rainy season when he fell. After that, see here, so there was no fracture. But he was only smiling. Now his father has brought him to you. Okay, doctor, see after, you know, history of fall, he's only smiling, smiling. So what should be the next line of management? Are you going to admit the patient for two days? Or you are also going to smile and discharge him? Hmm? You are going to take some history. Yes. So what are the history you are going to take here? What are the questions you will be asking? After history of fall, did you had loss of consciousness? Yes or no? If there was loss of consciousness, yes, then CT scan should be done. You ask him, did you get seizure after history of fall? Yes or no? If yes, then you have to do CT scan. Ask him about nausea and vomiting equal to or more than two times. Right now you have to do CT scan. Why it is important? Because see here CTZ center that is nearest to respiratory center. If there was a stimulation of CTZ center, oh my God, that is near to respiratory center. Please do CT scan and rule out if there is any any danger to respiratory center or not. If you see any open fracture, if you see any open fracture, if Glasgow coma scale is less than 13, in all these cases, you have to perform NCCT. Please remember here, NCCT is the investigation of choice in any case of acute head injury. So here answer will be C.